which uh, has become uh, had become really very popular around the world and i think that people learn to like Chris like that and i was very fortunate to be uh, one of the singers of that time who really introduced this music around the world but you were never a political singer no no i think every singer is is uh, engaged somehow but I, I don't like to do politics on stage uh, I think everybody has, I respect the, the beliefs of each person. My truth is not the same with the others. And if I can really make it so that I can take by the hand the people that I promise something and give them their answers, then I would have done it. But it is not easy to do that. I would say that romance is your weapon. Um, love, uh, peace. Um, togetherness, communication. I think it's, it's what um, I miss when I was a young girl because I grew up uh, in the occupation. And um, these were the feelings that, that I, I was missing. I love, you miss a lot of love, not because of your parents, but because the world has no love uh, when there is war. Look, what's happening around today and, and this is what you miss when you're young so either you become aggressive in life or you become a person that seeks tries to find this this peace this love and and the togetherness the you, you unite what I did in my life mm. I, I try to find it I think I communicate somehow this this feeling that I try to I search for I communicate to the people and maybe and then it's your voice because you just have to mention the name Nana Moscuri and you hear the voice what's that special magic I studied classical music and um, this was a very good training for me but also I loved music very much and I still do so I try to sing everything that I can all styles uh, to learn about to go deeper to the music, to express it in the right way. And maybe this is what makes me have uh, the sound. Mm. I mean, it's not a sound that comes from one way singing. It's a sound that is it's digging in the music and taking, really trying to make the sound that it needs to express the feelings that I find in the songs. You always seem to be quite a serious person, not anyone you should... Um associate with something as frivolous as show business actually what attracted you there um, I think it's the loneliness of a shy person it's like an actor who wants to create uh, something and also to speak about himself but he does not dare to to say it in a normal way and finds the most isolated way to say it just being under the light and then express himself and tries to say what he feels about and that's what made me really to do, to do so I think yes and you're one of the few remaining grand stars I would say today you have yeah. more than 150 gold records yes. you constantly tour and meet your loving fans you have two children and you have your husband here in the studio yes absolutely. is there anything you lack in life uh, I, I, life was very kind with me. I think that I found love, I, I became a mother, and as you said, I was a very successful singer. And I really appreciate that, but singing was very important in my life. And it, this is why I continue on singing. I, I think life without my singing would have been completely different. So I serve the music that I do somehow, mm. because I enjoy it very much. Yes. Do you still have ambitions? Ambitions is to see my people, my children, the loved ones to, to succeed really in their own life, mm -hmm. on their way, because the world is opening, the world is changing, and they open their life in, into this world. So this is my ambition. I think I'm very happy for what happened to me. I never expected to go that far, because as I said, I was on stage, but not really to see my name uh, written somewhere. It, it, I'm happy it happens, but it, this was not the main reason that I became a singer. It mm -hmm. was really the love for my expression, to express myself. And this is why I wish the same thing for, for my children, to, just to find something that they will enjoy very much and they will act all their life to be able to live with it, for it. Mm -hmm. It's very important to exist. 
I know that years ago you actually wanted to become an opera singer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe a new Callas, who knows? <laughs> well, you know, I, when I started, I started for, for a long time, and at the beginning I thought I will become a, a classical singer, but then the jazz, the rock, the folk, mm. all the sorts of music that I wanted to sing that drew me out of it. I was sent away from the, uh, from the conservatory. And um, one night I was playing in a nightclub later on and singing some of, um, of the songs uh, at the time that mm. they were very successful of me in the nightclub I was. And Maria Callas was there one night among the audience and she used to come and ask me for certain songs to sing. And one of the evenings she asked me to, to go to her table and, and talk to me. And, and she said, you know, I listen to you very often it seems that you are more than, than being a popular singer. Have you studied music? So I explained her my, my story. I told her about my school times and that I was sent away because I wanted to sing. And she said, you know, it is much better to be a very good popular singer than an unsuccessful opera singer. Yes. So just respect what you're doing and don't worry about anything else. It was very nice having you here, and now we're going to hear some opera. Yes. Ekfaristo Poli. Kehoi Faristo. Yes. The stage is yours. Ja, och nu blir det faktiskt opera. Vi ska höra Fångarnas kör i Nannas version av ur Giuseppe Verdi's Nabucco.
Thank you. Welcome down. No, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Men det gick snabbt där tror jag. Ja, det gick undan. Det är det som 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 det som är 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 det som det men vi är tillbaka nästa lördag som vanligt direkt efter Dallas. Och då ska Nora Brockstedt göra Sverige comeback. Du kommer ihåg henne? Oh ja, tango för to. <laughs> Dessutom så kommer hovsångerskan Barbro Eriksson hit. Passa er. Ja, och förhoppningsvis cheer. Just det. Inte dåligt. Ett dunderdamernas karamba med andra ord. Men jag ska nog försöka hit. Få hit någon häftig herre också. Självklart, för it takes two for a tango, Annika. Karamba! Ba-ba! <laughs>